Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn how to modify the code here in double integral 2 to solve a double, double integral numerically. <coughs> so in this example, uh, we have two examples here. Uh, the first example, we use exponent y divided by x as a function and let's do the first example first. So the first thing is to modify the lower and upper bound of the integrals. The lower bound is 0.1 and the upper bound is 0.5 and also change the function. The C, remember the C is the the lower bound of the function of the sorry of the integral in y direction. So we have c as a function of x equals to x to the power of 3 and d as a function of x is equal to x square okay and the function itself which function exponent y divided by x okay right so everything is set up everything is ready and we have 5 and 5 uh, subdivision on each uh, axis so we can build and run here as you can see, the result is quite uh, close to the our our for, to our to the our uh, reference here. Uh, if we move the comma here, one two, we have zero point zero three 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 oh five four. So we have this one two three four five six seven seven decimal of accuracy. And we can try with a different uh, number of subdivision. Let's change it to 50 maybe and run again. We have 5, 5. Now we have 7. 7. Oh no, not, not 7 actually. But we have 1, 2. We have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, dec 10 decimal of accuracy so it's quite good and we can go to the next uh, example here so in this example we have a different lower and upper bound of, of, the, of the integral so the, the lower bound is 0 the upper bound is 2 for x when o d o this is for double precision variable and C and D C and D C as a function of X is 0 0 0 0.0 and D is X over 2 or we can have 0.5 x multiply with 0.5 okay that's the same and remember the function we have to modify the function we don't have we don't need the exponent anymore we use z equals to x y square x multiply with y square so everything is set up everything is ready now we can Maybe we start from a small number. Okay, let's build and run. As you can see, we have this 2.0.2666844. So we have four decimal of accuracy here. <laughs> so we can increase the number maybe to find a better accuracy. Then we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 number, 8 decimal of accuracy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As you can see, if we increase the number of subdivision, we have a better accuracy of the result. So I think that's all for this uh, double integral with non rectangular region. Uh, if you have any question and or suggestion, you can comment below and see you on the next video. Bye!